Hi guys, welcome to the RP Business Commission. Now we are discussing about uh, another important lecture for CSAR net get job. Okay. Now here, uh, so it is a, it is belongs to C double bond C category. The Tebbe and Patasis olefination. Tebbe or Patasis olefination. So in previous lectures we are discussing about uh, Wittig reactions, Julia olefination, so Shapiro, Bamford. Okay, such type of reactions. So here Wittig reactions it forms the double bonds with the carbonyl compounds, especially Wittig it forms the aldehydes. Okay, why? Because uh, lesser nucleophilicity of uh, phosphorus elements will forms the aldehydes. Okay, but in case of modified Wittig reactions, they are uh, ready to form the double bonds with ketones also. Why? Because the phosphonates are uh, more nucleophilic character that's why it it reacts with ketones can it forms the double bond character double bond with the ketones also it forms the double bonds with ketones now however tebbe and patasis olefination it is a good methylenating agent good methylenating agent that means uh, it act as it added by the ch2 okay that means here it it creates the ch2 with double bond ch2 with a double bond that's why it is called as a good methylenating agent okay so now here the methylenating agent in which case we use it in the titanium ch2 here minus here plus okay so in previous case we used it at low valence titanium catalyst that, that is nothing but a coupling now here titanium plus a ch2 minus so titanium is very uh, like a uh, less electrophilic less electronegativity but ch2 minus is more electronegativity due to the uh, ch2 minus here it is more like a polarizable compound more polarizable as well as a more density highest density Okay, that's why it leads to the more nucleophilic in nature. More nucleophilic in nature. So, due to the more nucleophilicity of a carbonyl, okay, which can react with the even carbonyls of esters as well as amides. That is the importance of Tebbe and Patasis olefination. Okay, generally, like a, uh, alkenes formation from carbonyl compounds like aldehydes are ketone. But here, the more and more nucleophilicity of a CH2 minus, which is connected to the titanium, okay, so the more nucleophilicity will prone to form the bonds like to form the double bonds with carbonyl compounds okay carbonyl functionality of esters as well as amides that is the major advantage of tebbe and patasis olefination so the general representation of tebbe uh, olefination is like this now here it is aldehyde or ketone or ester or amide so in presence of titanium ch2 okay here it is a two phenyl, uh, two cyclopentadienyl anion groups. So now which creates the double bond over there. Okay, this is called uh, like a Tebbe and Patasis olefination. Okay, now this uh, titanium alkalidine complex will be prepared by the Tebbe as well as Patasis with different uh, categories. With different uh, categories. Now here Tebbe preparation. Now we are going to the deal with uh, preparation of uh, Tebbe and Patasis alkalidine complexes. So both are prepared only titanium alkalidine complexes, but they are uh, uh, prepared. Uh, titanium alkylating complexes with a different manner okay now we'll go through the the first preparation of a like a titanium alkylating with a tebbe olefination with a tebbe okay now here it is titanium methyl aluminium cl like here it is a methyl methyl now here it is a cp cp here titanium aluminium titanium aluminium complexes whenever uh, it's undergo the heating heating condition whenever it is applied on some heating now here it is eliminated it forms the double bond over there now here titanium here it is a ch2 that forms the double bond ch2 here cp here cp plus al cl methyl methyl so this is the best pre preparation method of tebbe olefination best preparation method of tebbe olefination now however the patasis preparation method is like this so patasis used the dimethyl is like a cyclopentadienyl anion okay now whenever heat heating applied now here the elimination of methane we will get the our corresponding like it is the cyclopentadiene Okay, it is the cyclopentadiene. Now we will get the alkylidine complexes, which is nothing but a tebbe and patasis uh, alkylidine, titanium or alkylidine complexes. Okay, now we will go through the mechanism of the uh, tebbe and patasis olefination. Yes. 
Now, mechanism of the tap by valve finishing. Now, here it is carbonyl compound. Okay, so carbonyl compound treated with a titanium, like a nucleophile titanium attached to carbonyl. Here it is positive CP, CP. So, whenever the nucleophilic center uh, will attack over the electrophilic center of carbonyl compound, now it creates the O minus. Now, here R, H, CH2, titanium. Here positive is there CP, CP. Okay, so in generally, Titanium minus uh, plus, the, uh, titanium plus and O minus, okay, sorry, now titanium plus and O minus. So generally less electronegativity atoms readily forms with bonds like more electronegativity atoms, that is the tendency, okay. Now here O minus will uh, uh, will form the bond with uh, titanium. Now here titanium will be more pronounced to form the uh, bonds with oxygen. Now here it creates a O, titanium, Cp, Cp, CH2, like R as well as H. R as well as H. Now you get, again it forms the bonds with a double bond in the form of a double bond. R H C H two plus a titanium C P C P double bond O. Titanium C P C P double bond O. This is the simplest mechanism of a tape and potassium sulfide finishing. Okay. Now we we'll go through the uh, like uh, main applications of a uh, tape and potassium sulfide finishing. Okay, the first application, it, it, it will treat it with a aldehyde compound. Okay, now it treated with aldehyde compound. RC double bond OH plus a, like a titanium, aluminum, methyl. Methyl, CP, CP, here chlorine. Okay, which is either Tebbe uh, reagent or Petasis reagent. So it is a uh, Tebbe reagent under the heating pressure. Now here it forms the titanium CH2. Okay, that means uh, if they are given in the uh, exams like this, uh, followed by the heating, now we will get the uh, titanium alkylidine complexes. Now this titanium alkylidine complexes will be treated with carbonyl compound. Now here it creates the like a double bond. Okay, here only CH2 is added. That's why it is best methylating reagents. In case of ethyl reactions, we will prepare the, uh, instead of uh, CH2, there are uh, some uh, like uh, many derivatives of the CH, like CR2, CHR. Okay, such type of derivatives we are prepared. But here only exclusively it prepares the CH2. That's why it is a best methylating reagent. Okay, now however, in case of carbonyl compounds, same reagent or potassium reagent, whatever it may be. Now here, Tebbe or potassium. Both are uh, uh, like uh, it gives the titanium alkylidine complexes. Now here it creates the like a CH2, CH2. Okay, uh, this type of preparation Wittig also forms. Wittig also can give the uh, such type of uh, products. Now the main advantage of potassium reaction is now third one. Now the third one, reaction with uh, esters as well as amides, okay, like uh, esters, amides, or amides. Now here it is an ester, okay, so whenever our tegbe or petasis reagent, that is a uh, titanium alkylidine complexes, will be treated with uh, Ester, ester carbonyl compound, okay, it is a ester complex, ester complex having the carbonyl compound, that is a ester carbonyl compound, now here it creates the double bond over there, O-ethyl, okay, so generally esters and amides are very less reactive towards the nucleophilic addition, okay, towards the nucleophilic addition, generally aldehydes greater than ketones, ketones greater than these two esters as well as amides, now however, even though it is a less, uh, less uh, active reagent, active substrate, but our uh, reagent is more nucleophilicity. That's why it attack over there uh, electrophilic center of uh, like uh, esters. And now it creates the CH2 on carbonyl compound. Carbonyl compound of ester group. Carbonyl compound of uh, ester group. Here there is no elimination of water. Okay. In first step there is no elimination. Furtherly it may be possible. Okay. Sometimes it may be uh, undergoes the hydrolysis reaction. Now here uh, CH2 OH is there. Okay. So now it undergoes the ketoenal tautomerism. Now here it forms the ketone compound. Now here it forms the ketone compound. So such type of mechanisms they are given in this uh, so many times. I think uh, 2016 June they are given in the such type of questions. If it is possible, I'll explain uh, those questions in, in this video. Okay. Now we'll go through the like uh, amide uh, treated with a uh, tepary agent. Amides treated with a uh, tepary agent. 
Okay, now here R C O N H two head by reagent. Okay, now here it creates the double bond over there. That is methylating agent. Now here it is a NH two. Sometimes it 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 will also undergo the like a ketoenal tautomerism, then followed by the like a hydrolysis. So it will also gives the corresponding ketones. So generally, like a this type of uh, like a this type of esters that is nothing but uh, cyclic esters are called lactones. Okay. So now however it treated with a uh, base or olefins. The base are fatases, not olefins. The base are fatases. It will gives like this this is the ch2 that is nothing but a uh, uh, by olefination tebbe olefination so now however here it is uh, replaced by the nh that is nothing but a uh, lactams so cyclic amides are called lactams so uh, however it produce the nh okay so this is the uh, general reactions about tebbe and pertussis reaction now we will discuss one of the uh, like a csar problem which is given in the 2016 june csar for four mark we will discuss over there Okay, now we'll go through the uh, one of the CSAR problems for four marker in which is given in 2016 June. Okay, so now whenever we'll observe the question, okay, they are given in the uh, different type of complex. Okay, so that is a titanium aluminium complex. We know that titanium aluminium complex. If they are uh, given in the heat, uh, it it may be possible. It may be. Given or not, okay, doesn't matter. We will assume it is a type of olefination. Okay, now so here they are given in the certain uh, reactant. Okay, that reactant uh, having the one of the carbonyl functionality and another one is a uh, ester functionality. Okay, now so first of all uh, they are given in the certain group that is uh, like a uh, glycol. Okay, which are used in the like protection of carbonyl compound. Okay, it is it is a protecting group. A uh, protecting group. It protects the carbonyl compounds like a uh, uh, like aldehydes or ketones. Okay, if uh, first step they are uh, protected the carbonyl compound followed by the tebe olefination. Now uh, let us assume that if it is they are given in the tebe olefination, that's why it is readily readily methylating at a carbonyl compound. That is wrong answer. They are given in the options. Okay, so they are given in the such type of options, but uh, it is wrong. So we will go through this step by step. Then only we will get the answer. Okay. Now in first case. Uh, they are given in the like a glycol that is uh, protected with a carbonyl compound protected to carbonyl compound now here so it is protection takes place now uh, uh, how they are protected that means here oh oh that means here these two are eliminated as a water molecule now it is protected it is protected with the same stereochemistry doesn't change ome like here methyl ome okay in the second step in second step they are given in the our uh, tebe tebe reagent which is tebe reagent in case of tebe reagent uh, the main application of tebe reagent it it uh, creates the methylation at uh, ester carbonyl compounds okay carbonyl compounds of esters are amides so they are given in the esters now here this carbonyl compound will converted into olefins okay so here it is methyl group here it is a ch2 here it is o methyl okay so followed by they are given in the h3o plus h3o plus whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis now we will get the okay so here uh, it is d protection takes place now here it is methyl as it is now here it undergoes the ch2 here oh so whenever it uh, oh that is nothing but enol is formed so it undergoes the keto enol tautomerism now here it creates the like a c double like a here c double bond o here ch3 here c double bond o ch3 now remaining everything is same remaining everything is same now here it creates the carbonyl compound so now let us check the options whether it is right or wrong now the first option if they are uh, in first option uh, they are Uh, methylated at the carbonyl compound so here they are given in the uh, like a protecting group uh, th this protecting group will protect the carbonyl compounds only but uh, they are given in the first option it is uh, methylated okay that is wrong answer okay now in case of b so here both will be methylated it is also wrong however here they doesn't uh, have in the like a uh, remaining part of yes <coughs> excuse me so that's why it is also wrong in case of d They are forms the ketones. 
but uh, here after the hydrolysis we will get the carbonyl compound they are they are given in the like um, CH2 that's why it is also wrong so now option number C is correct they are perfect to the our answer okay so such a type of uh, such type of questions they are given the four marker in CSIR that's why so the importance of named reactions very early in CSIR okay very very important in CSIR exams okay uh, th this is the tape by as well as the petasis volifination reactions thank you for watching